Judge Holloway. Alice! Quick. You get her loose before they start pumping the gas. I'll shut off the valves. Yeah. Oh, Alice, thank God. How did you find me? We don't have time to talk. I've got to get you out of here. What is that? Where did you get that? It's Elle's. Elle? Where is she? Is she okay? I don't know. I'll find her, though. I promise. She said she took this from you. So I, I guess you should have it back. This isn't mine. It belonged to Nora. Nora? They turned on the gas! Enter Asphyxia. So, this is basically a manifestation of Nora Holloway. This is... L, her sister, pretty much. And she's beating my ass, holy fuck. Okay, she's beating my ass really bad. I have to get used to these swings. Oh, Tail Sweep, okay. I gotta figure out if that's a back dodge or a roll or what. Okay, getting a little better. Okay, even a back roll can't dodge that. That's what I was afraid of. So this is another one of those bosses that's incredibly hard to melee combat, but because I don't have any ammo, I don't really have any option. Okay, that shit kinda hurts. Get off me, whore. Oh, damn, really? Did she do a claw swipe and a tail sweep? Get off me, bitch. God damn, dude, this boss is fucking rough. I remember this being kind of easy because I always killed her with a gun. I'm not rolling backward, I'm rolling to the side. God damn it, dude. This combat engine is fucking trash. Like, how did she fucking hit me right there? I was nowhere near her. Seems like the most dynamic boss fight in terms of moveset, though. What? Dude. Like, again, how does she hit me there? She's, like, going the complete opposite direction, perpendicular to me, and she still hits me. And then I can't dodge. Cool. Awesome. Again, she hits me. Fucking wow, dude. Honestly, I don't want to say that fighting her with a melee weapon was all that bad. But yeah, she's the manifestation of Nora Holloway. So that's Elle's dead missing sister, essentially. Wait, Josh! 
But what's weird about this boss is that it doesn't go after, like if you've noticed, Sepulcher killed Bartlett, right? And then the doll killed Dr. Fitch, but this monster, for whatever reason, doesn't kill the mother because the mother escapes, right? And it goes after Wheeler instead. So it's like, I don't understand what the reason for that is. But yeah, basically what it is, is all the different bosses are mangled, horrific manifestations of the deceased kids of each of the founding families. And here's the church that I recall. And this, if I remember correctly, is the final sequence of the game. I don't remember how long the sequence will take, but I think we're going to complete the game today, actually. If I can power through this sequence. Josh, wait! Now, I'd like to elaborate on the theme and the plot of this game a lot more, but I don't really have the words, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did with my other Silent Hill playthroughs, and I'm just going to do a little video on it exploring different elements. If I remember correctly, I think there's a drawing or some shit around here that I want. Okay, that won't open. I don't remember how to navigate this place is the hard part, so I don't remember exactly what I'm doing or where I'm going. That has a lot of range. I gotta roll that. Yeah, okay, this is where I started, so that's the church, so how do I get there? Why can I not just run through this segment? I'm not really understanding where they want me to go. It's obvious that this is a gate that I have to open. Oh, I see. I'm just dumb. I didn't notice the giant fuck-off valve there. I did notice the glowing health drink, though. We will most assuredly be picking up the, uh, probiotic drink. Fuck that guy. I want that too, whatever that is. Looks like rifle. Yeah, rifle ammo. Is there anything around the other side? No, that's greed. Absolute greed. <laughs> 